Karen, firstly, congratulations into an Australian Open semi-final off the back of doing it at the US Open. That must feel pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, for sure, you know, back-to-back semi-finals in a Grand Slam uh, feels great. You know, obviously not the way you want to finish the match, you know. I think until a certain point it was a very competitive, very good battle. Uh, Sebastian beat one of my friends, Daniel, in three sets. And uh, in five sets against Hurkac, you know, he's playing great tennis. So give applause to him and... Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good, to be honest, you know. Um, really happy, really happy about my level, about uh, the way I compete, and uh, looking forward to semifinals here in Australia for the first time. Yeah. Well done. Talk about the turnaround for you, because a few years ago you burst out, you, you played great, and then it got a little bit more difficult for you to maintain that. The rankings come back, and then you found this great form that you're talking about. Where has that come from? I think I kind of reinvented myself. I would say I always believe in myself, you know, but there are always ups and downs and sometimes when you have this great result, it just shows you what you're capable of and then you start to believe more and more. So this belief and self-confidence, I think, appear much stronger after the US Open. So, you know, I made it here semifinals already, so I just hope to continue that way and to grow as a person and as a sportsman, yeah. When you, when you talk about growing as a sportsman and a person. You're a young dad. How is it managing all of that, the travel, the playing, what you need to do, but also being a good dad? Uh, we need to ask my, my wife and my son if I'm a good dad. <laughs> but uh, so far, yeah, I'm trying to be, you know, we are so many weeks away, I wish they could travel with me more, but it's a little bit more difficult, you know, with the travel, especially here to Australia. You guys live so far away. <laughs> I mean, even me coming back from Dubai, I felt like, okay, one flight, but it took me 20 hours and I was completely the, exhausted. So, you know, they are cheering for me at home, home my family. So I just say hello to David and my wife. Hello. And uh, yeah, so, so far. Well, we're going to let you go. Congratulations. Well done on the, the form that you've had and into an Australian Open semi-final. Congratulations, Karen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Thank you. Well, he's gone where he's never been before at the Australian Open. And we are seeing Pete catching off at the moment.